Hello and welcome back to Panda Inc. and subsequently Software Inc. Where we last left off, we had Panda 3, uh, Panda Guard 3, I should say, just released to the public. It is doing okay. We're hoping for a better sales next month. We have our first, I think it's our first piece of outstanding quality. No, it's not. Panda AV3 was also outstanding. But that is what it is. This is our first outstanding Panda Guard product, so that is fantastic. Currently working on developing Panda Guard 4 and Panda Palette 3. Panda Palette 2, rather. My words just aren't working today. We are supporting 3, 2, and Panda Palette. Marketing 3, 2, and Panda Palette. So that should be all good to go. We also have our project management just working on the updates, which is fantastic. You can see this working here. And that is lovely. If you missed how to do that, go and check that out in the previous episode. But without further ado, let's get this game running and see what we can come up with. Everything seems to be running pretty smoothly right now. The only thing we're missing is a little bit more sales. We would also love some more licensing on Panda Palette, but we'll have to see how that goes. As soon as Panda Palette 2 gets to, I think I'm gonna do about the same three and a half iterations on design for both of these products. I think that is a good sort of balancing point. And we've got pretty decent sales again, $178,000 in sales on Panda Guard 3. And we actually made some money. Let's have a look at this real quick. So we had $400,000 worth in deals, 23,000 in dividends, 332,000 in sales. So we actually made $31,000, which is nice to see. Our bills are so high, mostly because of printing and helicopters, but you can see with $433,000 in sales, we only spent about 360,000 in actually making those. So we are turning a profit with our deals. It's just not a very big profit, which I kind of like. I kind of didn't want our deals to make our game too easy. So that is fantastic. Pentagon 2 can probably have its marketing ended. Really not making us any money at the moment. I also do need to go into my options and just look at my mods. And yeah, in better software development, we have end support when all bugs are fixed and released. So we're gonna leave support for Panda Guard 2 up. It's really not costing as much in terms of resources and things like that, so that'll be fine. We'll go ahead and accept all of their demands. That's absolutely not a problem. And yeah, it looks like we're peaking out at about three to 4,000 units a day, which isn't fantastic, but it's not too bad. Also have a manufacturing deal that we can't take. We have some education here as well. I wouldn't mind getting Chubby Panda up to the point where he can actually handle that himself. And then we can just educate the rest of this team. We actually had a marketing person who didn't have three stars in marketing, which is interesting. And our 2D team can get a little bit more 2D skill. And Rosa can get some more system design. That would be fantastic. Let's keep it going. Our sales have dropped off a little bit. We have $439,000 due in taxes, so that's not good. We fired our accounting staff last episode. But we might have to look at bringing them back soon-ish if our products continue to do well. We also have a port for Tiger Flash 3 on Panda Guard 2, which is interesting. How long are we porting things for? 24 months. Let's just make that 12 months and cancel that and then we can update panda palette instead sign that to everyone to the top of the queue we're getting there we're slowly but surely becoming profitable i think my biggest mistake is i expanded a little bit too quickly i got a little bit overzealous and i also went into project management a little bit too early before we had a little bit of a base for our softwares so it is what it is you live and you learn one of the best parts about games like this you're always learning new strategies we are getting a little bit more licensing on panda palette 2 which is fantastic Sixty-four thousand dollars last month if we refresh this yeah fifty-eight thousand. so this is making us just under a hundred thousand a month at the moment which is lovely that is just from print manager which is good i love that I love that. I love to see it. 
how are we doing on our marketing spends? We should be fine. This is prominent. This is unavoidable. But we could probably increase the budget on Panda Palette now that it's actually making us some money. Set this up to be 30,000. And Panda Guard can probably... We'll leave this at 50,000 for now, just to make sure we continue to be unavoidable. But we are slowly losing sales, so we'll have to keep an eye on that for sure. Design iteration three is almost done for both of our products. Pandaga four is going so much quicker than the rest. This is definitely, yeah, that's definitely assigned to the 2D team, which is fantastic. That's what we want to see. Our marketing is getting done, which is lovely to see. We definitely have enough marketing people right now, especially now that the fact that they can actually hold meetings has made them a lot more productive. And yeah, this is good to see. 30,000 in sales. For a first software, this is doing way better than I could have ever expected. So that's lovely. How are our stocks doing? Everything should still be up, yeah. Ligar's giving us some money, that's perfect. We've got 2.3 in the bank and an extra 1 million in stocks. Just lovely. We're slowly but surely stabilizing. I know we are still technically losing money each month, but I think with a couple more releases, we might be okay. That was a big fine for not having to pay our taxes properly, but I mean, we'll eat the costs so that we don't have to hire a team to actually do that. I'm quite happy to do that just for now. It sort of just is one of those things that you have to have to deal with before you can afford to hire a marketing team, which we definitely hired too early. <laughs> and it's nice to see all of our support tickets are being done. We're not having any trouble keeping up with that either, which is lovely. It's nice to see that this also balanced out. It didn't just continue to drop at this rate. So we're still making about 100,000 from that each month and about the same from Panda Palette, which is surprisingly good considering this is only good quality and ordinary creativity. Who do we have as our lead on this? Did we change that stuff? Uh, yeah, we did, we did. So that, we'll see how they go. Pentagard 4, as soon as we hit midnight, we can go ahead and do some stuff here. Go ahead and hit develop on that button. That is now being developed. Go ahead and set up our hype. Move that to the top of the queue and work on getting out a press release for Pentagard 4. Not worrying about press releases for the design phase. It just seems a little bit like it doesn't add a lot of value. It probably adds some, but I don't think it adds enough to be worth putting us on really tight deadline. The benefit of doing your marketing only when you start the alpha version is that you have a whole year and four months from when you go into beta to actually get your product out. And we've been nominated for an award in two categories for the first time. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Best product, we win with Panda Guard 3, perfect and best designer. That's interesting. I did not expect to ever win even third place in best designer. So that is fantastic. I'll go ahead and place those immediately. Best product. We can have this go to our support team. They've helped us out quite a lot. And then I feel like our best designer has to go to Chubby Panda just because, well, he's the one who is the best designer. So that is that. This has gone really quickly. This has been one month of progress. I'm going to leave it until both of these are at about 90% before we do a review on that. But that is fantastic to see that this team is just chugging along nicely. We have a look. Yeah, it's because we have five out of four recommended designers on that team, which is absolutely fine. You're more than welcome to have more designers and more programmers than you need. Uh, we'll go ahead and pause. Actually, we might be able to just get this to... Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Before the end of the day, we got to 89% on art. So we'll go ahead and do a review. It's nice to get this as close to finished as you can before you do the iterations, just so that you can get a pretty accurate score. We've got 9.7, which is fantastic. That is, I'm more than happy with that. It can just go straight into... Straight into beta, but... We do actually need to pause it for a moment, just so that we don't finish it before we get this press release out. 
So we need to finish this press release and then we can go and move this into beta just to get the best bang for our buck as far as I'm concerned. We'll go ahead and set a uh, release date for this. So August plus four is December of 92. One year and four months, that's perfectly fine. Get this press release done. It shouldn't take too long. Put it on top priority. That's probably enough. That's fine. We'll wait for it to finish. It should finish pretty early tomorrow morning. And again, Panda Palette is doing really well. So much better than I expected it to do. Vanguard 3 can probably have its budget reduced a little bit to maybe 20,000. Especially considering we're about to come out. Panda Guard, I meant. I think that's the one I changed. Our press release is finished, so we'll go ahead and release that unpaused development. Get that up and running. And we can also go ahead and mark it and send out a press build as well as write a, another press release. And we'll put that at top priority so they actually get it done this time. Hopefully we can get some decent followers on this before it goes out. Already up to 200 followers for that. Panda Palette 2 also could probably use going to the next stage of development right now. Go ahead and mark it, set up hype for that, and then mark it. We don't need to do any of the other things. We're not going to do a press release. Oh, we will actually for alpha, we'll do a press release. And we'll set that to top priority. And that'll just chug along nicely. It's definitely more micromanagey than having the the full automation on, but it sort of just is what it is. We're just going to accept door OS here and reject the rest because I don't think we have the capacity to print that many things. And we might just wait for pictures and video to be done on this and then get that out because followers are dropping quite quickly. So, and I would like to get this out sooner rather than later so that we can stop bleeding money. Uh, we also need to, one thing I didn't do, where is it? Pentagon 4, we need to print this. 50,000 copies. Uh, we don't need to set that lower. That'll print in like no time. Burglars went home empty handed. It's fantastic. That print job should now be pretty much done already. Yeah, it is. The press release is doing okay. Pictures are almost done. Once they are finished, even now, we might release this now that we're down a little bit lower in followers. That actually didn't add any followers whatsoever. <laughs> that is a little bit disappointing. But yeah, we're now losing followers on that. So with 235 bugs finished, we'll go ahead and release that to the public. Haven't heard of us, that's fine. Five stars and five stars, perfect. Go ahead and get this set up here. Marketing for Pentagon 4 will have no budget for the moment. Go ahead and leave that open so that I don't forget to fix that later on. We'll go ahead and update to the latest tech levels using Panda Palette. Move to the top. Pentagon 4. And open that tab up. Port that to anything that needs it. Definitely want to get that on Tiger Flash 3 as soon as possible with 2.5 million users. We'll move that up just below the update. That'll be fine. Support can go up to here. And that should be it. We just need to open PandaGuard Automation. Set this to PandaGuard 4 so that they actually do the updates for it. And that should be fine. Get these updates rolling. We got another outstanding piece of technology or piece of software, I should say. The update's finished. And hopefully they can finish this today. That would be fantastic. It's going to be close. They've done it. They've done it. Of course they have. I never had a doubt. Let's see how we did. That's much better. That is much, much better. We sold 7,840 units for a grand total of $427,000. 
which is exactly what we needed, to be completely honest with you. That is exactly what we needed. I'm going to immediately have a look at these. Yeah, 552. Cool videos. Looks okay. It, it turned out better than okay. Uh, Alexandra also has some education. We can get her to handle education. Alice should be automatically trained. That should be fine. And then we can go ahead and start working on Antigard 5. Get that set up. So we'll use existing Pentagard framework. Next page. Panda palette. Panda palette 2 is not out yet. We'll have that on Tiger Flash 2 and 3, as well as Door OS. Analyze our market real quick. We want some more active protection if possible. We just update these to the latest tech levels. I think that's as bad as good as we can do without any networking. It's not supported by the operating systems. If we take off Tiger Flash, no. No, it's just not supported yet. That's fine. Go for all three of those. Auto balance here and make sure this is antivirus team, antivirus team and develop. Perfect. I'm gonna need to review Panda Palette 2 in just a minute once these get around 90%. Our press release for that is finished, which means our marketing team can go ahead and focus on Pentagon 4, which is lovely. We should also probably end marketing on Pentagon 3 because we really don't need it anymore. And yeah, everything's looking a lot better with these sales. Hopefully these can sustain themselves. Let's have a look. And they do. We get another great day of sales. We're actually making money. It's about time. <laughs> it is about time that that started to happen. I'm telling you, it's been rough. I've, I've played a few games on Impossible Difficulty and I've never, never once had this much trouble trying to make money off my products. So I don't know if it's, it's something I did wrong specifically in this run. I think it is. I think it's just the fact that we expanded too early and started project management too early. We'll go ahead and get a review on Panda Palette 2. What do we got? 9.3. I'm going to iterate on that. I would really like this to be a 9.5 software or higher. Yeah, look, even more sales now. 23,000 active users. Should probably keep an eye on support, make sure we are actually keeping up with everything. It looks like we are. Yeah, no problems at all. And that should be fine. We're still printing Dora OS, so I'm not going to take any of these deals. Our marketing person has some education to take. We can start working on multitasking for them. That should be helpful. Marketing for the uh, multitasking for the marketing team should be particularly useful because they're always working on more than one thing at a time. And let's see. Oh, <laughs> that's unexpected. What happened there? Did someone release? Panda Guard was about half the market. And then, what, just everyone stopped buying antivirus? Hopefully when we come into May, this picked back up. That's really unfortunate. But yeah, we were making money. It, it didn't last long, but we were making money for just a little bit there. I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but I definitely did. I mean, there's still 100,000, which isn't terrible, but it's definitely not good. Definitely not good. We're not going to review this again. I'm just going to leave it as is. Let that run. And yeah, really didn't do very well at all. We have some competition coming out. Maybe that's why. But these sales are just abysmal. That's really rough. <laughs> this game really doesn't like me. I don't know if it's my save or what happened, but this save is making it particularly difficult for me to get ahead. I'm going to continue marketing it hard, but we still are widespread. We basically market it as hard as we can. 
can probably lower the budget for Panda Palette too since that's coming out soon. Yeah, that's rough, man. It is currently unavoidable, but no one is buying it, even though it's outstanding and inspiring. Sometimes you just get that. You get that on the big jobs, and it is what it is. There really isn't a ton you can do about it, which is, you know, unfortunate, but what are you going to do, right? If any of you guys have any tips on not having this happen, that would be fantastic, but yeah. It is. It's just because any sniffer watch came out and they just destroyed us. For whatever reason. We'll go ahead and get this press release out after we set release date. So June 1, 2, 3, 4, October of 93 is when we want this to come out. And we'll release that press release. We do have a nomination for an award, which is lovely. I assume we're going to get first place again. And we do. Panda Guard 4 coming in with first place once again. Who can have this? Well, I mean, we could put it in the marketing team. They've worked on it as well. That'll be that. New features. Console operating system 3D rendering. Not a problem. Space Tycoon 4 can be a print job that we complete. Uh, Panda Inc. announces Panda Palette 2. They used a video to show off their product and it got our full attention. Plan to release somewhat soon. Yeah, this is this is not nice. <laughs> not nice at all. We're also in design iteration 4 for Panda Guard 5, so that will be going into Alpha very soon. And this should tick over to beta as soon as our employees come back in. Accept another print job there. And how are we looking? Beta. So we want to go ahead and print that straight away. Limit that to 50,000 copies. So I don't forget. We'll go ahead and mark it and send out a press build. And that is all we're going to do for that. We're not going to do any more press releases in there. And this will come out pretty soon. Yeah, Pentagon 4 just really tanked. I'm going to limit this budget to about 15,000. Don't think there's much point spending more than that when we're only making 46,000 a month. Unless this, for some reason, ticks back up. Supporting Pentagon 4, that might help. Go ahead and prioritize that. 69 followers for Panda Palette 2. Nice. As soon as this port's done, we'll go ahead and promote Panda Guard 5 into the alpha stage. Start marketing that. Haven't really heard about us. Looks amazing. Has all the new features. Perfect. Oh, we got a little bit of an uptick. So that's something. Are these actually making us money? We have made a profit on the last four softwares, which is actually surprising. But our best products were actually Panda AV. By quite a long ways, which is definitely interesting. All right, that port is done. We can go ahead and start developing Panda Guard 5. Market that, set up hype. Market this, set up a press release. Make that top priority. Start working there. Panda Palette will probably come out tomorrow. We might leave it a little bit longer than that, just because these bugs are still going quite strong. We'll probably also cancel support for Panda Guard 2, that seems unnecessary. More deals. Our press release for Panda Guard 5 is ready to go when we are. Go ahead and get a review on this. Here we got 8.7. Go ahead and iterate on that one time. Get that number up a little bit higher. 
And we're just mostly watching these bugs right now, making sure that once they start slowing down, and I think they are starting to slow down a little bit, we'll go ahead and release this. So we'll go ahead and release this in January of 1993. And that will be absolutely okay. I don't think we need to do another review on Panda Guard. I think it will be just fine the way it is. Go ahead and release, announce our release date, which is going to be at May of 94. One year, four months. Release that press release and let that go. And yeah, we're going to release Panda Palette 2 next month because I forgot today. <laughs> Make sure we don't forget that again. There we go. Panda Palette 2. It's coming out. Let's go ahead and release this to the public with 111 followers. I don't remember if I printed this. <laughs> uh, small issues here and there. Panda Palette 2 is great quality. Magnificent piece of work. Perfect, perfect. Let's go ahead and open the details panel. We did print this, which is fantastic to hear. Go ahead and hit update on that. Get that working. And go ahead and port that to Tiger Flash and or OS 3. Move these to the top of the list. Get those done before anything else. Support for Panda Palette 2 can go there. And marketing for Panda Palette can go there. This we have limited, so we can close that down a little bit. And let's see how we go with our second Panda Palette. This time we are outstanding. It is still ordinary, which is to be expected a little bit. And I think we can go ahead and accept all of these deals. We can. Yeah. Uh, Panda Card 5 is also in made it now, I missed that. So we'll go ahead and market this and send out a press build before we forget. And then we'll start working on Panda Palette 3 in March. That is the plan. Hopefully this update actually gets done. I think it will. Yeah, perfect. Update complete. Hopefully we can get, no, we don't get one of those done. So we might actually wait another month before we start working on Panda 3. How do we do? 9,000 in sales? Not fantastic. But people still have no idea who we are. So that's sort of to be expected a little bit. Hopefully, once these ports come out, we can get a little bit more sales there. Especially with the marketing we can't do it. Let me go ahead and cancel support for Panda Guard 3. Uh, that'll finish. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, one thing we do need to do is we need to make sure that we've got this in our project management. I think I did this for Panda Guard. Yeah, I have. Perfect. Panda Palette 2 is being ported. Everyone. And I think now is the time. Let's just have a look at these. We've got a whole bunch of more stuff for games, mostly multiplayer and MMO sort of stuff. A few more deals coming in. Lovely, lovely. Get that all done. Pre-release for Pentagard. All the new features, still a bit off from releasing. That's fine. Marketing team has some more education. Um, I mean, I don't really need anything else there, so that's fine. They can just do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and start working on Panda Palette 3. Make a sequel. Existing. Frame Palette. Next page. Put this on Dora OS, Tiger Flash 3, and Tiger Flash 2. Analyze our market real quick. Now we are still within the market, so that is fantastic news. If we could get rid of anything that does drawing. Just a little bit of drawing. That'd be fine. Technically, actually a worse product, but 
it's still got 100% interest, so it should be absolutely fine. It's going to take about a year, which is good. It's only recommending four designers and five programmers, which is fantastic. This will be our 2D team. 2D team. And who do we want here? I mean, we'll try Tanya again. She seems pretty efficient. We'll give it a go and hit develop on that. Perfect. 12,000 in sales, still not very good. Still not very good at all. Hopefully that can pick up a little bit more. How's our marketing going? Penny Guard 4 can probably just end marketing on that because it's absolute trash. Penny Guard 5 I can probably come out tomorrow. And yeah, I think that's the plan. Pentagon 5 can come out now. Hopefully it does a little bit better than Pentagon 4 did. Pentagon 4... Yeah. Pentagon 5 is going to be released. Release. Let's see. Hopefully it's still 5 stars across the board. Knocked it out of the park. Tell a lot of work went into it and no one still knows who we are. It is what it is. We get that details panel up. Go ahead and update that to the latest tech using Panda Palette 2. Update that and port to DoorOS 3. Get these up and going. Marketing can go there. Panda Palette, we're going to reduce this budget down to about 30,000. Just hopes that this takes off a little bit. Panda Palette 1 is still selling pretty well. Well, it actually might not be selling if we have a look. Or is Panda Palette? We go to details. Yeah, we're not actually selling it anymore. This is just licensing. So we can actually end the marketing for that. We can probably also end the support for that. I think that will be absolutely fine. Penny Guard 5 support can come up. And that'll be that. Get this update done as fast as possible. Finish that. Port to door OS 3. And that'll be Panda Guard 5 ready for the market. With a pretty big marketing spend too. 60,000. See how we did. Ooh. And of course. <laughs> it had to happen once in this episode. It just had to. But we forgot to print. We forgot to print. Yeah, so we sold almost no units, 400 units, all digital. But, I mean, 400 digital units is not that bad, so. I think that isn't terrible. I will go ahead and order 5,000 copies in case anyone wants to buy it today. And yeah, that'll be that. With all of that done, everything wrapped up pretty neatly. We're going to come back in the next episode to start work on Pantagard 6. And I know you're probably sick of Pantagard and Panda Palette, but look, we aren't currently making money. We're very close. I think we're very close to actually being profitable. We haven't had to sell stocks in so long. How are our stocks actually doing? We're not too bad. We've got some backup money there. Uh, we're only losing about $130,000, $160,000 a month. <laughs> very successful business we're running here. Hopefully we can pick that up next time with Panda Guard 6 and Panda Palette 3. And then we can maybe look at doing something else. Something else entirely. Maybe we work on a game next. I think that would be fun. Uh, and yeah, that is going to be it for this episode. If you guys are enjoying, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Comment down below for the sake of engagement. It really helps out the channel. And don't forget to leave a like. But until next time, happy building, happy developing. Bye, guys.